Hello, it is Wednesday at six o'clock. I am so excited to be here and I'm so excited to be alive. Thank God. Praise be to the Lord. All righty. So we are going to go ahead and start with our Bible study. We had a wonderful time on Sunday and uh, the sun may be on our uh, title and the scripture and all that, but isn't it beautiful? I love the sun. So if you was with us on Sunday, we know we talked about the wise builder, okay? And it was a wonderful lesson to, to encourage us and to remind us and just to uh, let us know what it is that God wants for us in being a wise builder builder. So I'm so happy. I do want to encourage our parents to continue to allow the children to be connected with us here at the Bates Memorial Children's Church 3 Me Ministry. For those that may be new with us, I say welcome and I'm so excited that you're here. But the 3 Me Ministry is that you have three and to be a, a devoted follower of Jesus Christ, having those three is going to church, and you have in the church, you have in the Bible study, and you have in prayer. And those things are so important as a disciple. And that helps us to grow and become uh, the person that God has called us to be. All righty? So, parents, I encourage you continue, continue to continue, and thank you. Your body's in front of the camera. You have your Bible. Okay, I have my Bible. Yes. And then we have our brain ready to receive the word of God. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with a word of prayer. Let us bow our heads and close our eyes, okay? Father God, we thank you so much once again that we're here alive and it's only because of you. And that we do say thank you. Lord, be in the mix right now. All of those that are viewing, Father God, from different parts of the city, maybe different states, I pray right now that you will bless their hearts right now. We're receiving the Bible study, your word today about being wise, oh Lord. And Father God, I pray, oh Lord, that your Holy Spirit will move in a mighty way. Use me to speak your word, that it may manifest itself in the hearts of those who are viewing. And Lord, we forevermore to give your name all the praise, the glory, and the honor. Hallelujah and thank you. Jesus. Amen. Can you say amen with me? Amen. Amen. And amen means what? Do you know what amen means? Means so be it. All right? Because when God say it, guess what? It's it. That's it. Can't nobody do nothing about it. That's what it is. All righty. So the wise builder. So we came from the book of what? Matthew. Yes. Matthew is in what? Is it in the Old Testament or the New Testament? All righty, it's in the New Testament. Is Matthew one of the four Gospels? All right, if you said yes, you got another point. Good job. Good job, good job. All right, so our lesson on Sunday, we're going to look at who were the characters in our lesson. Do anybody remember? If you were here with us. Our two characters was the what? The wise man and the foolish man. Say that, wise man and foolish man. And let me tell you something. You are one or the other. You can't ride in the middle. A lot of people, I ain't neither one of them. You're one of them. And when you're not wise, what are you? Say it. You're foolish. And we want you to know that we love you enough to be honest with ourselves so we can make the necessary change, okay? So we had the two characters. We had the wise man and we had the foolish man. Those were the characters. What was our problem? Our problem was that we had a foolish man that was... Uh, his life was not built to withstand when life happens, okay? And I always remember, guess what? Life going to happen to everybody that walks the faith of this earth. That's one thing that nobody exempt, is exempt from is trouble and life happening, okay? And remember we talked about, do trouble come and warn you? No, it does not. Most of the time it shows up and we are un. Uh, aware of it. We're not expecting it. So that's why we got to always be about God's business. The Bible. So the Bible tells us and shows us how to live in this world. And it it mostly tells us how to, to, to act when trouble comes because trouble is going to come, but trouble don't last what? It don't last always. No, it don't, okay? But when it get finished, you want to make sure you're on the right side of it, not the wrong side of it. So, 
uh, that was the problem, which was the foolish. And then we know that we had the solution was uh, the wise men. The God said that I can make your life strong. So when the wind blows, which when the troubles come and when the rain comes and, and, and things that happen in our life unexpected, maybe death or maybe somebody gets sick or your parents get a divorce or maybe you lost your best friend or even right now in pandemic, you are in, you want to be at school. You want to play your violin instrument. You want to play basketball. Or you want to be around your friends what all of this and guess what you if you have the word of God in you you should be strong and you should be okay with it because you will know guess what God is in control and guess what he knows everything's going on and let me tell you something he's gonna move he's gonna move and he's moving now I see him in all of it okay but some great things are about to happen and i want to make sure that you be a part of it okay so how can we apply this lesson that we learned on a sunday about uh the wise builder we can learn that we are going to make mistakes sometime okay but that's why god made the way of forgiveness okay Ask God to help us with sorry and to give those things, cleanse us, tell them to cleanse us and set us free so that we can do better, okay? And everybody in the world have things in their life that they can always do better, okay? So that is the thing, uh, the whole scenario of our lesson on Sunday. Now, one thing I really, truly want to pull out is, is that wise, being wise is not necessarily being smart okay i really want you to get this children god wants us to be wise and he also wants us to be smart but being wise is doing the important things that matter amen we can do something that, that may be important but does it really matter okay so just say for instance you was walking down the street and you seen this lady drop money out of her, her her purse okay and she kept on walking and you went and you picked it up and it was a twenty dollar bill now stop right then and there what is the important thing to do go ahead mm -hmm. i know you talk to me okay because one thing you do you talk to yourself but that's the best thing to do when you can talk to yourself okay but in the holy spirit here. so let's say you said the the important thing to do is what to put in your pocket and didn't nobody see you? Uh, it really wasn't her. She didn't drop, drop that. I, I was seeing things. No. We know the most important thing to do is to go up to that lady and say, ma'am, here you go. You drop this. Okay? That is the right thing to do. But I know sometimes, hey, Michelin, I need some money. And I really feel that was my time to have that $20 because that's exactly what I needed at the time. But no, that's not trusting God. That's not being honest, okay? And we have to learn and know that in God's word, we got to trust him. Because when we do the things right, guess what? He blesses us. Say that, children. He blesses us. But we have to learn how to be patient. And that is another great word as we move in to changing our life and becoming this disciple uh, that Christ have called us to be is we got to learn how to be patient. We want things so quick. And when we don't develop a, a, a patience and that humility in our life and learn how to wait on God, guess what we end up doing? We end up doing things that what we want to do. And God said, nope, that's not what it was. And then guess what we do? We miss the blessing that God want us to do. Because you never know, you end up giving that lady that $20 back and guess what? You turn around and you come home and your mom said, guess what? Granny been to the house and guess what she left you? She left you a $50 bill because she said she loves you so much and she hadn't got you nothing in a long time. Hey, you see? So, but that those are things how God works behind the scene. He's always doing stuff, okay? And one thing, remember, you want to make sure that you always walk in the line with the Spirit. Doing those things that God has told you to do. Because when you do that, guess what? Everything that God has, all your blessings is on that road, okay? So you don't want to miss none of them, okay? Sometimes people say, oh, you've been waiting this long. Oh, yeah, I'm waiting for the Lord. God, you know God told you wait, you wait for the Lord. And some people are going gonna, 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 gonna to try to discourage you. Now listen, they're going to try to discourage you, but guess what you got to do? You got to learn how to stay in what? Strong, just like that solid rock. 
Mm -hmm. Just like it's solid rock. You got to stand strong. And this is the word of God. And if people that talk to you and they talk to you and it don't line up with the word of God and they don't talk Bible and they don't talk that you know that's what God said, guess what? You better run away. And that means that when they talking, they talking saying. <laughs> they talking saying. It don't amount up to nothing. Okay? It'll be washed away. But God's stuff, mm -mm, it never goes away. You better, you better bank on it. You're going to be blessed if you just stick with Jesus. So my thing is, guess what? I pray and hope you read your word. And I'm going to tell you, you still have till next Saturday to read the whole chapter of Matthew chapter 7. God will bless you. Yes, he will. All righty. So we're going to go ahead now. We're going to go into prayer and I'm just going to pray and let the spirit use me to pray uh, for my children, the guardians, and just all the people out there in the whole world. Okay. All righty. Let us go to God in prayer. Father God, we love you so much. We thank you for this time of letting us know that it is always best to do the thing that is important. And Father God, sometimes we, we are um, attempted to do things uh, that is not pleasing to you. But Lord, let our viewers know that when we do something, that it's okay, quickly go to you and ask for forgiveness and let let them know that you want them to do better the next time. Lord, I pray, Father God, for the families that are viewing right now, Lord, that child right now, whatever struggles, I pray in the name of Jesus, you will help. You will move. You will intervene. Touch that family. And Lord, I pray for closeness. I pray, Father God, for those families to be drawn closer during this time, Lord, and that they would Learn how to share one another and what they have. Father God, I pray, Lord, for the city of Louisville, Lord, that we can come back together and we can have the trust for our uh, police department and that, Lord, we can stand up for what really matters is us as human beings, Lord. I pray and I know that you can do it, Lord. I pray for our mayor. I pray for our governor. I pray for our uh, police chief, oh, Father God. I pray, Father God, for those who have been affected on every level during the pandemic through the police brutality, through the uh, uh, protesting, oh Father God, on every level, Lord, we know that you know it all, and I pray that you would just continue to let your peace and let your love and let your protection and let your comfort just have its way, oh Father God. I pray, Lord Father God, for those that are struggling, that don't have jobs and that don't have a uh, uh, means to pay their mortgage or to pay the rent and or to pay the water, the gas and electric. Father God, I pray, Lord, that you will work a miracle out in the name of Jesus and they will listen to this word, oh Father God, and they will pray and they will trust you and they will put it in their heart to walk out your word into their life. And Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, you will show up in a mighty way to let your word not go out void, but Lord, that you will blow up in their life and let them see you for who you really are, which is an own time God and a loving God and a God that you said would never leave us nor forsake us, oh Father God. So I pray for strength. I pray for great discipleship. I pray for them to read that word, Lord, and the word will become great in their hearts and they will show the greatness in the world and the neighborhood will start be strengthened and this city of Lord will be strengthened. The whole world will be so affected, Father God, that Lord, we will see you more, oh Lord, in this world, your light, your glory. Lord, we just forevermore to say thank you. Thank you, Lord, for being the God who you are, which is love. And Lord, we forevermore to give your name all the praise, the glory, and the honor. And this we do pray. Amen and amen. Amen. All righty. We thank God. And I, I pray and hope that I see you guys on Sunday. And make sure you have a wonderful week. Stay, rest of the week. Stay uh, safe. Stay your six feet. Wear your mask. And um, if you don't have to be out, don't go out, okay? And just continue to trust God Do everything you're going through. Everything. It doesn't matter. He is a God that never goes back on his promise. Amen. Bye-bye. See you on Sunday.